So welcome back guys. Today it's going to be the showing or the reveal of Fatchy. Super stoked to show you now the finished bike. I think, and it's all about personal opinion, I think the bike looks great. It's super fat with a P. The paint job looks amazing. And I just hope you guys like it just as much as I do as well. But if you don't, that's fine. We've all got our different tastes. But before I get on to showing you guys the bike, I just want to talk very briefly and just say thank you guys very much for just being amazing supporters of the channel, for hitting those like buttons all the time, for subscribing. It means a lot. You know, I, putting it bluntly, I work my ass off during the week. And the weekend when I do the YouTube, it's all about having fun showing the Harleys, having a great time, hopefully inspiring you guys to get out on your bikes. And if I do just 10% of that, it's fab and it's all worth it in the end. But before I show you the bike, I just think this vlog's gonna open up quite a few questions. So what I wanna do is answer those questions in advance. So hopefully then guys, it doesn't leave a mountain of questions in the comments section, but please ensure you hit that like button because it does mean a lot to me. Make sure you subscribe if you're new to my channel. Lots more stuff going on, lots of touring, lots of new custom jobs, lots of, did I mention blockheads coming down to see me soon? Hashtag spoiler. And yeah, so let's head off into the Q&A. So first question I'm gonna get is, is this your own bike or are you gonna be flipping it on for sure? So the answer is yes, this is my own bike. I paid for it and I want to keep it for as long as possible. Next question I'm gonna get is, did it cost a lot of money? And honestly guys, my blunt answer is yes, but at the same time, I've never been comfortable talking about money on social media. I always find it kicks up quite a negative stink around it. So what I am going to do is, I'm gonna leave all the parts in the description box below. But everything that I got was through Shaw Harley Davidson. So, you know, please feel free to give those guys a call. I'll link them um, as well in the description and speak to either Craig Latter or Craig Moyer. I've been with these guys for years. They've always sorted me out. They've always had a great after service care. And I know any of my subscribers or followers, whatever, you guys will get looked after as well. So that's my answer to that question. Another question that I think I'm gonna get asked is why don't you build your bike yourself and not take it to a dealership to do it? The honest answer, guys, is that I am, and I'm sure you guys are as well, flat out, full time, in a job, which is your main priority, it's your main breadwinner, and I don't know about you guys, but me personally, my average work time is probably 50 to 55 hours per week. Anything around that is dedicated towards friends, family, my wife, all these four things are super, super important to me. So that is my priority. If I then broke that down even further, then I have literally got between three and five hours per week that I could say is my time. So when I've got my time, those three to five hours, or could be a bit longer, I just wanna be focused on sitting on my seat, on a Harley, getting out there and enjoying it. In all honesty, what I don't wanna be doing is tinkering with a bike. And one of the straightforward reasons is that I don't really enjoy it. And the other reason is that I'm not really good at it. And as you guys know, to get good at something, you've gotta practice, practice, practice. And I don't wanna do that. <laughs> So I just wanna be out there, I just wanna ride, and apart from that, what you guys are seeing now, when I get home, I'm editing and I'm sticking it up on YouTube, because that is my passion, that is what I love. So I'm hoping that answer kind of summarizes it for you. And that leads me on to the next question, which is going to be, why do you get your bike done at the dealership? Now, for me personally, it's not just about having the right price, but it's about the aftercare as well. And there's very few companies out there which give you great aftercare service. For me, I've also experienced what it's like when things go really bad. So as an example, a couple of years back, one of my first 48s, there was an issue, the engine went peak tong, 
and basically it was going through a full warranty claim. Now Harley, so main Harley, were kind of dragging their feet about things and in the meantime I was, I didn't have a bike on the road at all. So the guys here straight away jumped in and they got me a new bike and in the background then they were dealing with all the, the red tape and the paperwork with Harley Davidson and for me it was a great experience, so tick. So without further ado, I'm now going to show you Fat G. What I'm going to start off with is showing you how Fat G started, which was the Sports The Special 48, and then we'll transition straight on to Fat G as it is. I'm also going to fire it up, or her up as well, or fire Fat G up, as in start up. And then you guys are going to hear what that exhaust system sounds like. No spoilers, but it's not Vance and Hines. Kind of done that with Vance and Hines. So let's get on with it. So that's pretty much a wrap guys, hope you enjoyed the vlog, hope it was worth the wait with all the stuff that we've been doing but I'm really really stoked with the bike, it looks absolutely amazing. So roll on to March, I can get the bike back, we can do some group rides together, get back involved in things like sports to sickness etc. So yeah without further ado it is super windy, my hair's going a bit mental. Yeah just make sure you hit that like and subscribe button guys, all the best, Motor New Rider.